And all right, guys, welcome back to another video on the David Hammond YouTube channel. Now, in this one, guys, we are speaking, uh, first and foremost, I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. I just want to say that. Put it out there. What is up? I understand with what's going on, you know, it can be a little tough, but hey, guys, we're growing. We're moving forward myself, you guys in business, health, life, everything, relationships. We're moving forward, so I just want to say that. Even though, even though it looks dark outside, you must understand this is just one side of the coin, and the ultimate goal is to move forward. This is how evolution works. That's my little spiel. I don't know where that came from. Anyways, guys, in this video, we are speaking of the idea or notion of I've seen this over YouTube a couple times so if I'm taking the title then fuck it I'm taking it but <laughs> I mean you know it, it the dynamic is what it is that is essentially based on the notion of David how come it seems like when I stop caring she starts chasing or vice versa you know you can be a guy you can be a girl it really doesn't matter essentially the dynamic of when you stop you know, trying and grabbing and instead just saying, you know what, it, it, I guess it is what it is. I'm just going to go do something else. All of a sudden, they start giving a fuck about you. Like, that is seemingly on paper one of the most confusing, annoying things in the world, and I understand. I completely get it. I, I'm, you know, I've been there many times, and I am there at times, and I'm thinking, this is fucking weird. But here's why, guys, okay? I think if you understand my videos, you understand the dynamic of why this is. But again, I'll explain it in a different light. You guys must understand that with guys or girls, moms or dads, really anything in life, is that we as people are attracted to individuals who have things going on. And now that doesn't mean you have to be a millionaire. Hell, I'm nowhere close to being that. That doesn't mean you have to be the biggest, most jacked guy in the world. Absolutely not. Those can be deciding factors or those can be tangible manifestations of what I'm going to speak about, right? You guys must understand that, that when women particularly look at three main things, which is looks, money, and status, LMS, right? Which a lot of guys feel discouraged about because they're like, man, I don't have this, I don't have this, I don't have this. You must understand that those are just merely the representations, the most superficial manifestations of the core underlying theme, which all of us men have. And that is our masculine energy. That is our trait. That is our ability to move forward in life, regardless if you're a guy or a girl, okay? And why, why do I mean this? I'm going off on a bit of a tangent here. But guys, you got to keep in mind, looks, money, status, right? If you if you work, you work out, you work on yourself, you lose that fat, you gain that muscle, you have a nice haircut, you take care of yourself, you, you take care of your skin, that improves your looks, period. You don't have to be the best looking. That will improve your looks drastically. Search up transformations of like, you know, it's, it's insane. Two, money. The money comes from our ability to work, to produce, to create, to serve, and then status comes from that. Status is the third one that just comes. So if you guys feel a little bit discouraged in any of these areas, you must understand that we can change this. That is the most God-given, beautiful talent. We can change this. A lot of people are going to have you believe that like you're born with it or you're not. No, you guys know that code. If you're born poor, not your fault. You die poor, your fault, right? Well, it's the same thing with looks and status, okay? To a great extent, we can change a lot of these things. I'm not saying like, look, man, if you're... Anyways, I digress. Different videos. So why is it that when I stop caring, she starts chasing? The reason is, guys, is because if you are focused on yourself and essentially you're focused on, let's say, those three things, which sound, you know, a little bit vain, people want to be part of that adventure, okay? They say there's a quote where men chase championships, women chase champions, okay? So men chase championships. You could say looks, money, status, or just your drive, your purpose, what you're doing, and women are going to want to be a part of that. Now, that's not to be sexist. That's not to say one's better than the other. Coming full circle, because I'm going all over the place, by you chasing certain individuals, you are now ignoring everything that you've built, your looks, money, status, your, your championship, right? The stuff we can all control. When you chase someone else, when, when you care so much about other people and, and are putting them on a pedestal, you are now focusing on their story. You're focusing on their championship. You feel me? Guy, girl, grandma, cat, dog, I don't care. We all have our stories. We all have our championships, right? And you're dummying yours down. So what happens is when you finally stop caring and just focus on yourself, or is that your championship? right? Your looks, your, when I mean looks, guys, I mean your physical stature, your health, your wellness, your finances, you, you as an individual, right? Isn't it funny, right? That when you stop, fo stop focusing on their championships, their adventure of the story, and just come home to yours, which you all naturally have, they want to be part of your adventure. <laughs> it, like it's, it's really quite simple. Your adventure is the most important thing in the world. Your, your, your life is a video game. It's a movie. You must, you must treat it this way. You may be in a dark time in your movie, but that doesn't mean the movie's done. It doesn't mean your movie is any less valid than someone else's. All movies have a beginning, middle, and end. All movies have heroes and villains, no matter how big or subtle. 
you have to stop undervaluing or undermining your movie, right? Maybe you're in the part of the movie where it's the deciding factor, where you got mugged or beat up, like in any of the beginning movies, or your, your city is on fire and, and you're the hero and you have to decide, you have to make a choice. Do I just be a victim and I can't fucking do this, or do I fucking slay the goddamn dragon, right? Slay your dragon. Stop focusing and chasing other people with their dragons. I mean, can you, Im anyways, that's, that's, it's a different video, right? Right? Ask yourself, put in this framework, you know, and I would recommend you guys check out Aaron Doughty. He speaks a lot about this. It's very interesting, his ideas on this. But think about it. Do you want to be the hero of your own movie, the main character of your own movie, and have acquaintances or, or side, side roles in your movie? Or do you want to be the side role in someone else's movie? Because a lot of motherfuckers, a lot of you guys, you know, you're acting as if you're the side role in other people's movies. I've been there, right? I've put people on pedestals. And you must understand that no movie is better than yours. You are the best movie in the world. All of us in our own authentic, unique ways. So I'll finish it there, guys, as this was kind of all over the place. When you stop caring, she starts chasing because you are now taking ownership of being the main lead role in your movie. And people are very attracted to that. People would, believe it or not, when people don't have their own movies going on, which we all do, but some people aren't aware of it, they'll drop everything to be part of your movie. Because if they can see you're going to fight the dragon and go save the girl and do they're going to want to be in it. Are you kidding me? Right? It's like, think of it like real movies, you know? Avatar, Titanic, the biggest movies. Hey man, you want to be a, 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 a you know, a, a stunt or you want to be a, a role in this? Fuck yeah, I'll drop everything to be in this. This movie's gonna be huge. I'll do everything to be in this, right? Of course, I'm, I'm being silly now, but but um, focus on yourself. You were the main uh, actor in your movie, okay? You focus on that. Woman, people, grandma, dogs, cats, I don't give a fuck. They'll want to be in your movie. So stop placing other people higher than you in their movie fuck that guys okay if anything come to a middle ground but uh your movie is the most important at the end of the day this is what men do this is how we move forward this is how we create the best goddamn movies year after 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 year 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 That's it. Love you guys. I'm going to finish it there. I'm, I'm getting antsy and silly at this point. I need to go work out. Like, I'm going crazy, man. I don't have a gym. I got, I'm got. i going to do home workouts. I'm getting like... I need to move. I need to walk. Okay, so that's that. I love you guys. I appreciate you. If this offended any of you guys in any way, that's not my intent. I apologize, but I don't apologize. So I love you. Thank you guys so much. Catch you guys in the next one. As always, there is self-development coaching and the course down below if you want more. The three and a half hour long course and coaching. I've said enough about it. It's bomb. Links are below. Check it out, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Much love, guys. Be the motherfucking actor star role of your own movie and let people come into that. I promise, okay? Change that mindset. That's it. Much love, guys. Peace.